Hello and welcome to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be looking at the temperature, um, coolant temperature of the Dacia Sandero. If you look at the dashboard it doesn't actually have anything to show the engine temperature. There's only one warning light um, uh, for if the engine overheats. So in order to do that I'll be using this uh, Bluetooth scanner which uh, plugs into the car's OBD port um, and I can simply connect it to my mobile phone in order to see loads of engine parameters. I'm using the Torque app on this occasion. Um, I, I found it very useful. It, it connects straight away. I've been able to use it on most of the cars I've owned in the past. Um, and it lets you see loads of parameters, but uh, the one I'm particularly interested in this time is coolant temperature. I've read on a few forums and people are a bit confused about the operating temperature of the 1.5 DCI engines that are used in the Dacia Sandero, the Dacia Duster, um, and quite a lot of Renaults, and, and recently even Mercedes started using them. One of the other um, features of this app is that it allows you to scan for codes. So I'm just doing a quick scan here to see if there's any other fault codes in the car, see if it's been overheating or, or running cold, uh, but no, no, no uh, fault codes came up on this occasion. So I've taken the car for a short trip and uh, the mobile phone screen that you can see on your left is fast forwarded just to see how uh, te coolant temperature increases. Um, but what this app allows you to do is actually take a log of your trip um, and then you can actually send that log to yourself via an email. So I'm just showing you here, there's an option for um, taking a log saving that log and then uh, sending it to yourself. Now here's a log I took earlier and it shows your coolant temperature, intake air temperature and uh, speed or GPS speed and uh, you can see my speed has been going up and down um, until I reached the motorway when I did a, a period of time at 70 miles per hour or 70 indicated in the dashboard, which is about 767 um, ground speed. And uh, this was a 45 minute trip and you can see that coolant temperature doesn't really even reach 80 degrees. I think it's around 76 degrees. Um, so for this reason I decided to change the thermostat and uh, here's how I did it. I'm not going to go into detail about the steps you need to take in order to remove the thermostat because I'm not a mechanic. I, I don't know if the steps I took are the correct ones. I've really struggled with accessing the thermostat so I tried to take out as many parts in the area that I could in order to gain access. Um, so if you think you're struggle and you don't have the tools, please take it to a mechanic. Um, when you do this type of work, you will lose some coolant. When I remove the um, coolant hoses, I did end up uh, losing quite a bit of coolant, which I then had to top up. Um, I did purchase another brand new thermostat off eBay. Um, it was the same part number as, uh, as the one that was on the car. Um, and you need to make sure that you buy the thermostat that has the correct temperature sensor for your car. Because uh, what I found out is that there's two separate um, types of sensors and it depends what harness you have in your car. So after doing the work, I decided to take the car on the exact same trip uh, that I did the first time around. Now the road conditions were different, there was a bit more congestion, so I didn't get up to the same sort of speeds. Uh, but if you look at this data set, the blue data is the one I took originally with the original thermostat and the orange data set is the one I took with the new thermostat. 
and uh, th there isn't really a lot of difference. The new thermostat did bring the temperatures up by about two or three degrees. We're now operating closer to 80 degrees C, but uh, this could just be within the error of the temperature sensor that is within the, the thermostat. Now, I've tried to read online and on forums and understand what operating temperature should this uh, car run at um, and I couldn't really find anything. To me 80 degrees seems low. Um, I think most modern cars run 90 degrees C coolant temperature which gives you an oil temperature of about 100 degrees C. Um, the higher the temperature the more efficient the engine is. So I'm, I'm not too sure why um, Dacia would, uh, would run the car at these temperatures. Um, but then again, I'm not uh, I'm not a mechanic. I don't work for Renault, so I'm, I don't know why this is the case. Uh, but for other people out there that are concerned about their engine running cold, it does seem that this 1.5 DCI engine runs at around 80 degrees C. So if you're used to running at 90 degrees C from your previous car, just get used to this uh, car running a bit colder. If you've liked this video, uh, please like share and subscribe and also let me know in the comment section if you have had a similar issue with your car or if you've had similar concerns uh, the tools i used aren't particularly expensive they're fairly cheap um, the bluetooth transmitter was just an ebay purchase i'm not sure how accurate it is maybe someone uh, with the correct uh, data logging tools may have better luck than i did thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next video